Alright. And then so... Mike can just make up the lines. Oh. Yeah, and once once we like my... dress it down. Like once everybody's kinda in and we're dressing it down, you just fill any gaps that are there. Um okay, so one two go ahead and go ahead and start filling it in. Here yeah, on the... one two alpha off my left. So Hunter directly next to Bandit. Bravo, fire team lead, whoever that is behind you. Yeah. And then, yeah, make sure you leave that gap. <coughs> then dispense. Side, do you want to right? to the right a little bit more? Oh boy. That's uh, not relax. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Bang, you jump in there on the end. So you should User be looking at the head of the guy in channel. front of you. You shouldn't be, like, in between guys. Yeah, that looks, I mean. That looks perfect to me. That looks good. So, like, what I was saying is, so if I was up here getting an award. I would go all the way around you guys and then drop back into my position here. Yeah. And likewise, let's say I get an award from this spot, right? Like, I would... Fuck, I moved around a lot more than I intended to. I'd pop back into this row and all the way across. I'd go through this platoon as well, right? Yes. That's what I felt. And then bloop, and then bloop, and bloop. And then blue. Hey, just real, real quick. If you're doing multiples, why don't you just keep them in their own like little line in the back of the formation, like they do in the fleet? Multiple promotions. Yeah. So like. Oh, are you talking about just like stepping them out and? Yeah, I get what you're saying. Yeah. So when they fucking they turn, you know, march, they come back up to the fucking front of the formation. They're like, yeah, oh, no, thank you, fucking appreciate it, and they go back to the back of the formation. That way, they're not like running in between the formation and shit. Oh, that's fair. Yeah, that's fair. I mean, uh, just a just a suggestion. That's how they that's how they did in the Marine Corps. I don't know. Uh, how they do it other places. We did that sometimes, depending on how many people were getting awarded. Yeah, yeah which was, today was is one. three, four, five. We have five promotions today, so um, in that case, I want uh, Jamie Levy. Well, Levy's not here yet. I don't think Sam Small and Ghost. I want you all to fall out and set yourselves in a rank in the rear, and everybody else sort of fill in for them. So go ahead and do that now. User joined your channel. Just go ahead and dress right. Bravo, if you're not getting promoted, move dress forward. Stay in your um, Jack, squads. Jack, yeah, don't Jack move. Jack, don't Stay back here. Jack, come back. Hey, two, one, two. Hi. Yep. Then, yeah, you just move yeah. across. So front, yeah, front and right. So go ahead and... Wait, why, why are we leaving this open again? Oh, that's technically one Bravo, I guess. Oh, roger that. Alright, well, let's go ahead and uh, kick this off. So, I'm going to go through our awards first. Uh, so, first off this week, we have uh, three jumps. The jumping walrus goes to Jamie. So, congratulations, Private Jamie, for getting three jumps. Or air assaults into simulator actual con combat with a unit. Next off, we have... The Jumping Wall was first class. Some of these are housekeeping issues, or like issued through housekeeping. Um, this is three three jumps plus one night op, uh, or you know three air assaults with the 420th. First off, you got Banania, Cooled Karma, Fex, Jack, Levy, Not Again, Prizzy, Sam, Small, Wesley, and Sai. Congratulations on that. Combat Infantry Badge for three combat actions with the uh, 420th. Got uh, Jamie, Levy, and Sam. Uh, the next we have is the Combat Infantry Badge 3rd Class for 16 combat actions for Drake and Hunter. Next is the Combat Medical Badge, the first issue. For Small, that's three combat actions as a medic. Uh, the Combat Medical Badge 3rd Class for 16 combat actions as a medic with... Uh, Thundercock. And next, Army Service Award for achieving the Combat Infantry Badge or Equivalent, the Jumping Walrus, or a Qualification. Uh, it's going to be Spence, Jamie, Levy, Sam, and Tink. Congratulations on that. Next off, with the uh, people being promoted today, go ahead and move to the front and center, please. Those to be promoted, front and center. 
Yeah. So you guys would have, would go around and it's all good. We'll get it next time. All right. So yeah, you don't want to break the. Uh, Jamie got it. All right. So I'm gonna drop that salute. All right. So first off, we're gonna go from uh, we'll go from top to bottom. So. Attention orders, headquarters, 420th Parachute Infantry Regiment. Recognizes the valor, fidelity, and ability of Ghost. And on this, the 18th day of November, 2023, grants him the rank of Corporal with all responsibilities and privileges appropriate to that rank. And he is posted to co-team leader of 1-2 Bravo. Congratulations and Godspeed, Corporal Ghost. Cut above. Yeah, cut above. yeah, cut above. Cut above. Cut above. All right. Cut above. Next off, Private First Class Promotions for Small, who I don't believe is here, but I'm going to read it anyway. Tension Orders, Headquarters, 420th Parachute Infantry Regiment, recognizes the valor, fidelity, and ability of Small. And on this day, the 18th of November, 2023, grants him the rank of Specialist with all responsibilities and privileges appropriate to that rank. Congratulations with Godspeed, Specialist Small. Yay, yay, good above. Next. Good above. Good above. For, our, for our very well deserved promotions to private first class, we have Jamie, Levy, and Sam. Attention orders, headquarters, 420th Parachute Infantry Regiment. Recognizes the valor, fidelity, and abilities of Jamie, Levy, and Sam. And on this day, the 18th of November, 2023 grants them a rank of private first class with all responsibilities and privileges appropriate to that rank. Congratulations and Godspeed, privates first class. Good Good above. Above. Good above. All right, you all... face. Go ahead and left face and return. Yeah, grab your grab your gear if you need to or return to your spots. And that'll be that. All right. So everybody, everybody, oh. Rip Mike. Where's that? I'll be yeah, back in a second. Seems more conditions. Roger that. All righty. So, we're just a little bit past the hour. Um, let's see here. Squad leads, how we how we looking? I know we got Mike that's DC, and we got Fex uh, re sort of uh, getting getting connected. One two is all squared away. One two is all squared away. Uh, missing half your squad. All right, so one one, Major Ted, if you don't mind, uh, sort of helping filling in with with uh, one one. Uh, Cordy, uh, Staff Sergeant, what what spots do you need filled over there? Uh, yes. Okay. Uh, I'm <laughs> Bravo. Uh, okay, I know Fax is here. Um. So that should be one of Bravos. So all of Bravos here. It's one Alpha. The one Alpha, I think, is the one that needs things. A Apex is disconnected, so we're gonna. We need, need an M60. If if for one one, don't we? Yeah. So you'll that be right 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 because Levy isn't here. Did you guys say you needed an M60? Oh, for, Sam, for Sam our one one, yeah. M60, yeah. Oh. So oh my mic isn't working. User no, joined your channel. Yeah, uh, Sam, go ahead and grab that M60. That's fine. Um, okay, I'll go grab and then, and then, Realistically, it's just a Grenadier and Alpha. Um, if Mike doesn't come back, then it'll be your team. I'm here. Okay, so definitely a Grenadier, and, our, and I guess I heard a Rifleman over there as well, and that'll be that. All right, cool. Anywho, let's go ahead and... Uh, Right, we're doing a training exercise today. So I'm going to go ahead and run down kind of what we're working on today. We're going to touch on formations, communication, and maneuver. Um, this is a lot of stuff to hit in one day, and that's part of the reason some of the other changes coming down the pipe are coming the pipe, because I'd rather kind of focus on one thing. Uh, but uh, I noticed last week, I know a lot of you guys pointed out last week, that that the sort of sticking together of squads is a little, a little fucky. Um, so... One thing we're definitely going to be doing is our, our squad leaders, team leaders are going to be kind of focusing on working together. But let's go ahead and we are going to start divvying you guys up into your formation. So 1-1, one, one, 
Um, let's see here. One one, go ahead and, and follow me, and then one two, you follow behind him. And we're gonna we're gonna move somewhere a little bit more open. Hey, firm. Let's go ahead and follow along behind me. Just go ahead and uh, sort of right face here on the road. I'm gonna let's have one one right yeah face. one one alpha. Go ahead and come out here on the on the road with me, and uh, I'm gonna use you guys as my <coughs> guinea pigs for this one. So first one is we're gonna do a fire team wedge. This is this is just a quick little little sort of spear point you're gonna be moving on. Let's get our fire team leader where I'm standing more or less, just look, looking at me. And then, no, we'll we'll fill in. In. yeah, just go ahead and kind of fill in here. You want your machine gun kind of towards the middle of it, but basically, just sort of do that. So where's the, the fourth, or do we have a fourth for one one now? Uh, yeah. Okay, uh, in that case, Sam, won't you come on up uh, real quick? And let's move this a little bit further forward, so you're going to... So Sam, yeah, uh, about where you're standing, kind of relatively like here's ish. Now the spacing on this is really tight. For the purpose of demonstration, I feel like it's okay, but I would spread this out and maybe half again the distance you guys have between yourselves. So I'd say almost like the same as go like here and Wesley here and kind of on out. Yeah. So you, as you guys, so between are... like five to fifteen meters between. Yeah, yeah, five to fifteen is probably good. Go ahead, Drake. Step level next to me, Sam. Sam, fall back a bit, a few steps. And then yeah. Wesley, fall back to the wards of the road, basically. Yeah. So that's kind of how that's going to go. Now, your squad leader and medic would kind of be right here behind you guys. Maybe another 15 or so meters. And then the next squad. So let's go ahead, 1-1. One, one. I want you guys to move out, kind of just get closer to the building. Or 1-1 one, one Alpha. And then let's have 1-2 Bravo come up real quick. All right, go ahead. One, two, Bravo. Okay, uh, so... Ten, ten my spot. Yeah. Green boys. Red boys, so stay one, back. So, Bravo, what you guys are going to do, and this is something that should coordinate between your team leaders. Basically full back. So, when 1-1 one, one Alpha takes point and they have their gunner on the left, they, they should go, hey, we're moving out. I've got my machine gun on the left-hand side. You go, okay, roger that. We'll move out, and we'll put our machine gunner on the, on the opposite side. So, you put it on the right in that case. That way, you've got your automatic weapon, you know, one on each side, and it kind of works out. Is that tracking? Yeah. All right, let's go ahead and kind of kind of fill that out and display that real quick. Another way I've seen it, you guys that are that are in other groups, uh, is I've seen the lead element being a wedge and the rear element being a diamond. That works, too. But personally, I like this a little bit more uh, Can I get, front. Uh... Who's where? Uh, off to your back row. Oh. Not again. Go back. You're okay. Actually, you're okay. Put the road almost. Yeah, by the road. Uh, like behind Banana, you take like two, Banana. three steps yeah, to the yeah, back. Yeah. There you go. Further back, further, further back, further back. A bit further. Kind of towards the road. And then Jamie, oh. take a couple of steps back. Level with uh, whoever that is, Despens over there. If the spectators can just stand back a little bit, so we can uh, see this, please. Yeah. Ten paces. Ten paces. Kind of to the side, like Alvar's going to be. Just go back to the far side of the road, guys. Yeah, back in the formation. Red team. Go. All right. So, everybody got a pretty good feel of how this is supposed to look. Yeah. All right, so I'm going to... Yeah, so 
I'll make sure I'm make sure I'm shouting. Uh, not again. You can hear me. <coughs> yeah. Okay. So this this is the formation I typically like to have my platoon traveling in and my squad traveling in. If we're going through brush, you guys kind of know how to do a road column already. Basically, just one fire team on each side and then kind of on down the line. But, uh, basically, this is the, the formation each squad should be in if we're moving through brush and we're moving one, one squad behind the other. This is what I like to have it in. This is how I was taught. There are other ways to do it, but let's kind of focus on one thing at a time, right? Um, so, let's go ahead. One, 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 two. I want you guys to sort of split back into your regular squad. So one one, I want you to take the point position, kind of set up by that bush there in this in this formation. And then one two, you're going to do the same thing, uh, starting about back here. Let's go ahead and uh, get that rolling. Hey, from one two, just uh, line up with me real quick for a moment. Get one one out yeah, of the way. Gang. So we get into a squad early. wedge corner. Okay. But uh, lock out a door thing. Jamie, oh, you're right. up there with one one. So okay, uh, ghost, go, go ahead, go ahead and take point. What are we after? Bravo with me. Still in the left, one on the right. Bravo team. Alright, Alpha, team. fall in. Yeah. Alright. Two and on the right, one on the left. And Snorlax will are. go in the middle here. Of, uh, effects you'd be here where I am. So it's a it's basically a wedge with the first team at the front and then the team lead and medic in the middle and then the second team in the back. Yep. Use so think of it kind of like arrow fletchings, if you know what I mean. But Use still, the radar. We're just gonna call this um, the wedge, I believe. You would be you'd be part of mine, Apex, so you'd be back a bit. Yeah, and then to your right. Then Apex. User you joined your channel. Yeah. So this is a, a squad wedge we've gone into. I need Jamie okay. as well. Oh wait. Yeah, Apex, you're an Alpha, aren't you? Alpha's at the front. Alpha's the front of the lead element. Hey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't know you was Alpha. Okay, hey, I just finished police and you're... Jamie, you be behind me, mate. Ranks there, Hunter. They're a little... Where's... Where's... Your brothers. Out wide. Also, where does one two? Bring the start? right in a bit. Between yeah, that I could work out. Sam, I'll be honest. There you go, that's good. Behind Boom. me. Boom. You want us to okay, push up cool. with you? Yeah, one one needs to move forward a bit because one two is. Jamie, it'd be. It... Jamie, over here, bud. Over here. Uh, you go, go right between Sam yeah. and, and Vex. There we go. User joined your channel. One one bravo, catch up. Alright, bravo on me. Alright, make sure you own the double. We start moving forward. Yeah, so let's go ahead and start filling in kind of some of the space here. Uh, Jamie, you should be in the wedge on the Make sure you just got your gun out, patrol carried, Zero going at the double. Gonna be... And Levy, you need to be further right. Or whoever your front and uh, is, uh, I always front. forget the fucking key behind for the seat. There you go. Okay, that looks good. Is you in patrol? So yeah, there we go. Yeah, it looks all right. Now you'd want a little, yeah. a little bit more space yeah. between your lead element, yourself, and your trailing element here, because <coughs> uh, otherwise, close. Yeah, you're a little a little bunched up here. It actually kind of is hard to tell where where things start and end. But now that I know where you are, um, it's, it looks all right. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, yeah, we're we're gonna move out that way here in a second. Sort of get used to trailing this. All right, test one. This is one six. Test one is one six. I want you guys to maintain this formation. We're gonna move out in in this column towards the airfield. So go ahead and uh, step it off one one as soon as you're ready. All right, we're going to be maintaining this formation, stepping off to the airfield here. Fire team needs to need to make sure we're keeping our spacing between the elements. 
Yeah. Okay. Roll carry at the double. Two speed, one speed. We wait for the yeah, lead to take off first, yeah, then we'll go. Call the speed. Roger, two speed. Gonna be uh, double quick. Alright, step off, ghost. Let's go. Zero, step it off. So look at that radar, boys. That radar tells you everything you need to know. You need to take your weapon out, Banania. <laughs> yeah, just keep your eyes on that squad radar and you'll be fine, guys. Turn a little bit left, turn a little left. Alright, we're gonna be turning to follow. Ghost, call out on the radio when you're turning. Slight turn to the right, slight turn. No, no you guys have left me in the fucking dirt. Uh, Y'all are definitely going faster than what we thought. Swing it out. Gotta bring it in a little bit. Cool, then Jack, you gotta drop back. You're you're basically we're just in a line here right, in hold. Bravo. side from east all the way to west and probably you're going to be covering the north side east all the way to west so you've got those rise up 180 degree circles or semicircles. <laughs> all right boys left face go ahead and one to the left Watch. one to the one just the one to the left so cool get on the left of the arrow formation Alright, just stay in formation. At the double. Get back into the formation. Just need to cover those sectors. Alright. That's good. Go ahead and kneel. You watching that right side, Jack? Watching that east. Yeah, cool. Dixie's in the front. One two lead. Do you we need to shift right? Hey, you need to stay in, in your formation. Uh, back the way we were. Shouldn't have changed where you're covering. Yeah. Watching it. 
Is anybody uh, watching this sector over here? Oh, total watch the 180, sir. Okay, well, hold on a second. Hey, hey staff sergeant, you gotta. I would, I would say, because they're they're watching this side. You, you may want to have them watch more in this limit, and then have the other watching more in that limit. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because right now, these guys are all looking this way, and if something slips through the cordon that their front team is, is setting, they're, they're not shit going to stop them from getting needed. Yeah, sounds good. Alright, so yeah, let's go ahead and adjust that. User right. disconnected from your channel. Roger, cool, go ahead and bring to that north User side. User joined your north channel. Out there, but facing the east, hopefully you get that back section. Jack, go ahead and move up to the east. Snorlax, this is my gig. Get out of here. Get out of here. Jack, go ahead and take the east side. Alright. Alright, well, go ahead and watch the southeast. Ruin told southeast. to break out into a circle as far as I know, but in any case, I'll have you guys... Cool, you watching that north end, alright? ...south, roughly facing west, so you get that arc. Jack, you watching that northeast? Make sure we've got uh, All right. 360. Yeah, we look good. <coughs> Set. can also like watch this so then we're, we're covered all right we are squared away yeah it looks way better um okay so i'm gonna ask them the same question that uh, i asked one one all right i'm looking i'm looking for the entire squad do you want him to rally up? Uh, I wanted I wanted some sort of response to my question. Uh, what was the question? The question was, if you are short halted, what is something you don't need to bother doing? Anybody? Is anybody here in this? Yeah, you're this... good. LT, I have an answer. Okay, one sec. Um, yeah. Okay, go ahead. Uh, I mean, if we're if we're short halted, we don't need. To watch directly in front of us because uh, one one covers directly in front. That's uh, not the not quite the answer I was looking for. You're you're right. You can be a little bit more lax on that sector, but you still need to mind it. Yeah, Ghost called in on the radio that we don't need to entrench. That's that's what I'm looking for. So if y'all y'all heard that, if we're in a short halt, that's like thirty to forty five, maybe a minute and a half. Yeah, pass that's, that on, Ghost. Thank don't you. fucking don't bother with digging trenches. All right, because it's going to slow us. User down. joined your channel. All right. Remember, boys, when at a short halt, do not dig a uh, trench. Copy. Do not. Didn't hear anything before the out copy. Off one, this is one six. Get ready to move out to the west. Go ahead and pick up your, your squads and get ready to move out. Let me know when you're ready to move. One, two copies all. Get ready to move. All right, boys, get ready to move. Get your guys picked up. We're going to be moving out to the west. Not quite yet. Today, Stay in your position. Just get ready. To, to get this nice and buttery Keep watching the areas. Hey, fair. One, two is ready to move. All right. I'm Jack, go ahead and take the lead. Bit of triangle. We gonna face west. Yeah, cool. You gonna bring up the left side? Yeah. One, two is ready. Is bring up the left. Cool. You got the right. All right. We're moving out. Going at the double. At the double, quick. Wait for it, wait for the moment. User disconnected Go. from your channel. Go 
going at the double. Going at the double. Yeah, so we're patrol carry at the double quick. Going at the double. Which is what we're doing right now. <coughs> really? You have to double tap it. Is that working? Yep. We on the move again. Walking day by day on the groove again. If you on the left, you Make sure watch we keep the left. 360 vision. And if you on the north, you watch the right. Stepping off again. Second up line. ahead, we're going to be making a turn to the 220. Roger. Yeah, go ahead and go ahead and sort of bring them around and start turning back towards the east. Next, we're going to work on transitioning onto line. What you guys are going to do is you're going to bring your fire teams online with one another, and then the squads are going to do the same thing. So you'll coordinate with one another to decide which one goes on, on which side. Stepping off again. Mm -hmm. You ready to move 220? Left, uh, order. Yeah. Basically taking a left turn. And typically... Roger that. Next turn is going to be... 180, I believe. Just follow him behind 1 1. If you need to slow up, you can slow up a bit. Stay spaced out. Spacing this out. There we go. Beautiful. So we're going to be coming online with 1 1 here pretty shortly. First, we're gonna bring Alpha online with Bravo. Go take the lead. Right, Alpha, go ahead and come out to Bravo's uh, north side to their left. Okay, bring it out left, Jack. Bring it out left. We're gonna swing out on Bravo's left. So we're swinging it to the left, boys. Bring it out to the triple, just to catch up. Hey, from you want us to come in on your? We'll come in on your north side. All right, gentlemen, we are going to be moving to one one's north side, their left side, and we are going to be taking that position. So, yeah. Bravo, I need you to do a short halt. Alpha, get online with Bravo. Got it left, got it left, got it left. Alright, Bravo, finish getting yourselves up into position up on their left. Watch our spacing, we're a little too close to them right now. Bring it left, keep going. Yeah, we need to punch out further to the north just as a whole group. I would, I would almost say get at least some of your guys to the left, 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 spring it out, spring it out, spring it out, getting spread out as far as I know, a little more, a little more, so in this it'd be a little closer like we are now, okay, and halt, now squad leaders, and get into line, north to south, facing east, there we go. Hey, firm. All right, fire team leads, uh, go ahead and try and maintain your wedge formations once we step off again. But I want you to keep online with each other, and you need to keep an eye on one one as well. So, ghost, that's going to be you because you're on the right hand side. Uh, just keep an eye on face one one east, as face well. East. Little 
little screenshot over there. Hunter, you've got our north side all the way from west to east while we're on the move. Grab that one, two lead. All right, uh, see, wise, you got the left in, okay? I don't like that truck sound. We're transitioning back into that column. Uh, Afirm. Afirm, um, are we turning 1-1 one, one so that we, because I think we're going to be behind those planes, or in those planes, aren't we? Alright, Raj, Afirm. Alright, 1-2, we're going to be moving back into the column behind 1-1 one, one in our old positions. Go ahead and move <coughs> our old positions with Bravo out in front and Alpha behind. All right, hey Marcos, Hunter, do you want um, Ryan with you? Move as soon as you're ready. Huh? Do you want Ryan with you? Hey, firm. I don't care. I uh, tag on to these guys. All right, you're gonna move form out, out the right. You're gonna form in on the right of the arrow. We're gonna be using the wedges all the time. All right. Gonna We're gonna be pulling out to the southwest behind Bravo team. We are moving out to the south. Go ahead and step move. off. Getting stuff sorted, boss man. Forward and back to the southwest. Form the wedge. Yep. Keep with sides. Um, One, two. Whatever team is directly in front of me. Yeah, Hunter's just, I don't know what the fuck he's doing. I oh, got a spear, man. fucker. Get off my ass. I like it. Swing it in. Hey, bird. All right, boys, we need to push right. through one one and get to the front. We're taking the lead, so let's move. We'll fix the formation when we're on the other side. All right, step it off. It's triple. Let's go. Your fire team, just so we got space. Uh, Alpha Bravo, can you hear me? Yeah. Mhm. Mm so what's gonna happen okay. after this? We're gonna patrol down this runway and we go back into that line formation. So it was my fault this last time. I got Bravo, it mixed up. Bring it to the so what we're gonna do? We're gonna have Alpha on the left hand okay. side. Uh, me and Drake in the middle, Paper. and Bravo on the right hand side. Right, we're about to halt right here. On the grass. Uh, right, just keep hold. moving and let one one, Paper. let one right. one move out. Paper. Everyone hear that? Alright guys, Not really. just keep moving down the runway a little bit. <laughs> okay, pick it up. Bravo, just keep moving. Right. Yeah, typically uh, once I get us moving, that's the, I just kind of want us to keep going, use that momentum. Okay, once we get halted, could you attach to, uh, cool? This one we're halted, though. Attach to uh, cool? Yeah. Alright. And go red. Tusk one, looks like we are back oh, okay. into a column. Let's go ahead and switch from column into line. Uh, make that happen on your discretion, squad leaders. Alright, we're gonna get our guys, uh, into line. I'll bring, uh, my rear fire team onto the right-hand side, and I want you to bring your squad up on the left of me, on the north side of me. Prepare to move! To the right! Prepare to move! Alright, go, let's go ahead and halt. We're gonna be moving into line. Hunter's coming up on Alpha, your south side. Alpha, guided right! Southeast! Guided right! All right, move out. We're halted now. Go at the triple. Make sure you go at the triple. Patrol yeah, and carrier. remember, guys, you can always speed up if you need to make this quicker. Yeah, Hunter. Um, whenever we make these transitions, go ahead and have your guys sprint like you're doing. Good. Go ahead. Crouch. Facing east. Also, remind your team leaders or yourself, somebody. So even if we're All right, cool. You got that right. South. To west end. We need to make sure we're walking behind ourselves as well. What? Gonna attach our jig. What's up? Oh, yeah. Thank you. Make yourself red uh, so I can yeah. see you on the radar. Makes it easier. How's that? Uh, Sai, why don't you move out to the far side and send people back over here? Go ahead. There you go. Alright, we're about to be moving. Alright, we're about to move out. Cool, uh, swap with me to the left side, because I have an MG. Uh, Alpha, I need you to move up just a little bit to come online. OCD. There you go. 
All right, I'm just ready right. to move. Let's go. Yeah, let's go ahead and move. Ready to move. All right, picking it up. All right, get your wedges Stand formed up. as we're on the move. Moving in wedge formation to each side. But you guys should be level with each other. You're doing good. Space Roll looks carry. good. At the double. Also, make sure we've always got somebody looking behind, looking to the rear in both fire teams and on our flanks. Fire team leads, that's your job to manage those flanks. You got that right side. Wise, all right? Mm-hmm. Looking good, looking good. Alpha, don't fall behind too much. Actually, you're looking good. You're looking good. One two copies. We're on my on my order. We're gonna we're gonna simulate a contact to our cell. I'll be popping a red flag on it. And uh, one one's gonna set, or one two's gonna set face of fire. One one's gonna en engage it, maneuver on it. One two copies. Tusk one, this is one six. You got contact. Contact, uh, south side. Halt. Alpha, halt. Face, base of fire, facing southeast. Bravo, move up onto their left. Keep fixing that base of fire on the red smoke, southeast. Hunter, I think we should triple time it. Okay, triple time! Go! I wouldn't say much, but it gives me too much War of Rights vibes. Alrighty, so, uh, how's everybody feeling about what we've gone over? I know it was kind of kind of had to go over a bunch of stuff real quickly. That's kind of why I want to do these a little bit more often. Uh, so we only have to cover a little bit and just get to get to the shooting. Uh, so how's everybody feeling? Pretty good. Yeah, good. Good. Feeling good. Always well, nice to see it when you're not getting shot at. Yeah, and that's yeah. that's a big part of the reason I'm a proponent of these kind of things is so we can do it and, and get it closer um, in a, like a clinical situation. Uh, Major, do you see any... Uh, Give me just a second. Observe it. Roger that. Okay. Any major oh, issues? Here. Uh -huh. Sorry. Major. Yeah, yes. Do you see any major issues? Uh, no, not any major issues. I mean, it's it kind of limited by space. Obviously, if you have the space, use yeah. it. Uh, as long as people can audibly hear each other, uh, if, if everybody's not on comms. <clears throat> right. But I mean, yeah, look look good to me. It was a little confusing. I was trying to figure out like kind of what was going on as we came back, but figured it out. So. Yeah. Um. The thing I would recommend is 
when gun gunfire starts happening, people have a tendency to suck towards the middle. Just remember to maintain your lanes, your lane being 15 mils to the left and right of you. So if you were to hold up your rifle, stick your fist up. If something is in, in your fist, it's too close, don't shoot. And that is your lane. You go straight ahead, unless the whole team needs to shift right or left, which is something team leaders communicate to hire. Yeah. So staying in your lane is a big one. That way you maintain that separation. You're not all clumping together, and you dominate more of the battle space. User disconnected from your yeah. channel. That's really all I have. All right, dope. So um, one more thing. One, one, you guys were good with the smoke. Uh, however, for for all of us, I think one thing we, we can benefit from is coordinating that smoke a little bit better. Because you guys came through that first smoke, and then you were kind of out in the open. So you want to make sure that as you're approaching a target, you're you're putting out more concealment. Uh, it's not as good as, as cover, but you do have your other element in 1-2, you know, providing base of fire and ideally suppressing the enemy. Um, so make sure that, uh, you know, just make sure you're keeping that concealment up. Likewise... Whoever is setting base of fire, remember you've got smoke like uh, the forty millimeter smoke, so you can launch onto the enemy position and kind of block their block their view, so they can't shoot back as effectively. Um, anybody else got anything? Questions, comments, concerns? Yeah, go ahead. Sure. Uh, so right. for throwing smokes, make sure we're getting them out ahead of us, like not yes. five, ten meters right in front of us. We want to smoke the enemies, not ourselves. Indeed. All right, cool karma. Um, it depends. If you're marking a target, red is, is what you want to go with. If you're just concealing, I would use yellow. Um, however, if you're kind of doing a one-two, like you're doing both with it, go ahead and just use red on that position if you can. Um, however, typically, guys, if you see yellow smoke on something, don't shoot at it, because friendlies are probably going to be moving through it soon. Um, so that's why I would caution against using yellow smoke as anything other than concealment. You could like, drop it, like, we're going to scale this down, say this 10 feet between us is, like, 10, 20 meters. You could drop that yellow smoke a few, a little ways in front of the enemy, if it's yellow. That way, it's still kind of doing it. Now, one note about that, and it's just partially the way things are set up, because we had we had you guys kind of shift and swing on the line with one another. But realistically, what would happen is one element would get in the contact, say, say, set base of fire. There we go, John. And the other one would push more further out, push further out, and start swinging in to flank, right? So that's that fine fix, flank, and finish. We'll talk more about that next week. Um, anywho, that's pretty much it. Does anybody, anybody else have any questions, comments, concerns? Are we good to go? go yeah, I guess no. Quick. Oh, yeah, go ahead. Uh, machine guns. Does everybody know? Actually, let me rephrase that. Who knows the rates of fire for a machine gun? Go ahead, go ahead, stand up and wiggle. Let's say again, Major. All right. Am I talking too quietly? There we go. No, I was distracted. All right. But, yeah. So if you know the rates of fire for a machine gun, and I don't mean how many it's capable of shooting in one minute, go ahead, stand up and wiggle. Uh, repeat the question, sorry? Rates of fires of machine guns. If you know them, go ahead, stand up and wiggle. Talking more than day. You're talking about, like, the difference between a burst and cyclic? Uh, which yeah. machine gun? Yeah. yeah. Um, where does he use 240s? Because it's pretty common. All right. Let's see. Drake, I already know you're a fucking savant with this shit, so... Wesley, you. what is the rapid rate of a fucking machine gun? Well, uh, long burst would be six to nine rounds. Oh, fucking British. God damn it. I need an American. <laughs> <laughs> six to nine He's rounds. He's not South Africa. I'm not British. Oh, I heard it. I heard American. it. Who said six to nine rounds? I did, it's all the same to them. Counterpart said it first. Six to nine rounds. How many fucking? How many seconds in between? What you said. Well, I don't even know. It was like yeah. three to five. Hey. Yeah, three to five. All right. Oh. The, the reason I'm asking this is, team leaders, you are responsible 
for telling squad leaders on down, but it's really team leaders are responsible for giving out rates of fire as part of that ad rag. Alert, direction, description, range assignment, and control. Control is not just moving people. It's managing your ammunition and rates of fire on bad guys. It's not just, hey, I need a rocket over here. Hey, I need a, I need a 203 over here. It's machine gun, 240, 249, M60, doesn't matter. Rapid rate, sustained rate, cyclic rate. Cyclic rate is they're jumping over the fucking wire cut throats. You only use that unless you absolutely have to. That's near ambush kind of shit. Rapid rate, sustained rate, if you're having to cross a long distance like to that tree line that you guys were engaging. Team leaders, you need to control your machine gunners because people love the party switch and they're going to want to use it. Maintain those rates of fire and you're going to have a lot more ammo and you're going to be more effective over the long range and long, the long term than just ripping off fucking however many rounds. If you need, if three to five seconds and all that stuff's kind of confusing, a little ditty that you can do for rapid rate is, you know, you can run, run fuzzy belly run or die motherfucker die. And then you wait one, two, three, die motherfucker die. Yeah, it's kind of that like, is, I'm up, he sees me, I'm down, right? Like that same Same, place. yep, same rate. It's an easy thing to remember, and you say, okay, as long as I'm saying this, trigger's pulled, I wait three seconds or five seconds, and then pull the trigger again for the exact same amount of time. If you need rapid rate, that was for the sustain rate. Rapid rate is just die, motherfucker. And you'll have perfect, perfect rapid rate, as long as you're keeping those gaps in between. When you hear a machine gun, if you're a machine gunner and you hear another machine gun go off, don't shoot at the same time. Wait for him to end his burst, and then you shoot. It's called talking guns. It maintains a continuous wall of fire without overheating guns, opening up your dispersion of the beaten zone, and maintaining ammunition over the long term. So, who knows what a beaten zone is? Just call out. Where your shit's oh. gonna land. Exactly. It is yeah. a... It is a oblong circle on the ground where your rounds should impact. It is a cone. And that opens up over over distance, and it opens up as your heat from your barrel heats everything else up. Your harmonics of your barrel get fucked up. So, those short, short bursts of fire will keep that beaten zone nice and tight, which means more rounds are impacting more bad guys. So, just shooting rounds into the fucking distance doesn't really do anything unless it's hitting near or on to bad guys. That's what suppression is. Does everybody understand? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Does anybody have any questions on proper employment of machine guns or talking guns? So is rapid rate is um, uh, how many seconds? And sustain rate is six to nine? So it depends. I was taught three to five seconds for both, but I'm also not a fucking machine gunner. I'm just an 0311. That's what I was taught as well. Anyway. So uh, what does that mean? Uh, infantry. Infantry, infantry rifleman. I don't. I don't know how to. I don't know how to use fucking so mark three to six as well rounds for, for sustained, and then six to nine rounds for cyclic. Yeah. There you go. And then three seconds between each burst of those in either seconds. of them. Yeah. You guys and then talking well, three to five, hard. and then yeah. uh, cyclic is basically just balls to the wall, lay them all down. Yeah. Basically. Point uh, being is that your your team leaders. You guys are responsible for your own guys' sectors of fire. Primarily your machine guns. Your machine gun is 75% of the firepower of a squad. Particularly anything belt-fed. Anything bigger than a fucking 249. That is the weight of your attack. That is the weight of your defense. Machine gunners need to know where is my principal direction of fire is. What is the primary way I'm going to engage bad guys? Where is my left lateral limit? And where is your right lateral limit? And then you can tie that into the other team's machine guns so that they have interlocking fields of fire. So the team leaders need to be going around and telling guys, hey, this is where you're going to be engaging at. That way, when you go to your next team leader, say, hey, this is where my gun's right ladder limit is, they can tie into that, so on and so forth. You guys need to be cross-talking to each other and actually setting guys where you need them to be set if they're not already there. That's all team leaders' responsibility. The team leader is usually the last one to start shooting in an engagement because they're too busy telling everyone else what the fuck to do first. Yeah, your your team or your team leader is basically he's he's the phone guy. He's the guy talking up and the guy talking down. So he is often, you know, like you said, he's too too busy doing communication and situational awareness stuff. And same same with squad leaders. The squad leader 
and the further up you go, the more talky it gets. So I know next... you all have an actual fucking O three thirty one, so direct all machine gun related questions to him. Um, other other he's, shit, he's yeah, not here yet, but more than available. Yeah. But like yeah. I said, those are those are important principles to offensive defensive combat. Machine guns are fucking everything. Talking guns, thank you, baby. Nothing. Yet. Talking guns, sectors of fire, principles of direction of fire, and rates of fire for all guys, not just your machine guns, is super fucking important. Because then yeah. you know what's going on, they know what's going on, and if you need somebody to shift fire, it's like, okay, cool. Hey, shift fire over to this fucking tree, and you know that they're already looking the way that they need to be looking. And higher unit leadership, such as your squad leaders and platoon leader, will know, okay, cool, this is the frontal area of my platoon or my squad. And then if the squad leader, platoon, platoon leader needs to go around adjusting th things, they can. But team leaders, that's all on you guys. That's something that's extremely important that you guys start utilizing. And you'll have to hump less fucking ammo. Yeah. Or shoot more bad guys either way. Before exactly. before I stop getting on, on my soapbox, does anybody have any other questions for me? All right, thank you. Yep. All right. Thank you. Um, yeah, thank you. Yeah, so that's, as you can see, Major Ted has some, some very deep thoughts on machine guns and fire rates and all those things I hope you guys will take and, and work with. Um, and especially as we do some of the squad trainings and stuff you guys are splitting off into. Um, I'd love to see some of that become more implemented. Obviously, we don't have a whole lot of time in these FTXs because I prefer these to be a little bit more shooty. Um, another thing to remember is when you are moving, your accuracy fucking tanks. So good, good luck hitting things. Uh, Drake, go ahead. I was just going to ask, can I, can, or can we quickly go over bounding? Ooh. Yes. Uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and do that before we hop in the plane. Uh, Fex, go ahead. Uh, I have to put my kid to bed. Can someone's use me back in in like 10 minutes? Yeah, just uh, yeah, put Max in chat when you, uh, when you get All right. back. All right. Uh, cool. So, one, 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 two. I want you guys to put yourselves online facing, I guess, facing kind of east down the runway. Hey, we'll, call. Um, we'll go over bounty. What's up? Do you, do you want a demonstration? Because, uh, as you know, it's something to work Actually, work yeah. On. That's a, that's a yeah. good idea. It's, it's easier to show in a small scale than it is a large scale. All right, gents. That's easier. My boys over here, past the, past the little Jeeps. Good. What are right, we doing? Yeah, let's go. We're going to fucking watch the guys. We're, we're going to buddy rush, and we're, rushed, we're not going to fucking shoot up the aircraft. We're just yep. going to go bang, bang. All right. All right. Bose, it's best to you give want an explanation. Contact or just fucking body rushing. Um, do as a reaction to contact. I think would be best because it's right, usually so no mainly in that way. Don't be yeah, scared, guys. Get up there on the tarmac. Get close so you can hear. Yeah, and see. get up, guys, yeah, so you can yeah, see and listen. So you can hear and see what they're doing. Basically, uh, what they're doing is guys, go go over here. You're in the front. Over here. Oh, well, yep, right, right, right where we're saying. Right here. Yep, and then face towards towards the aircraft. We're going to do a contact left. And then walk forward a few steps so we can build off of you. All right, go ahead and halt there. Build it nice and fucking pretty. All right, contact left. I'm in the open, 300 meters. Go ahead, start shooting. So you see, first thing they do is they set base to fire. Jake, you and me and buddies rush first. And what they're cool. about to do is they're going to start moving. No, fuck. God so we'll have one element set base of fire. Uh, Jake is supposed to be moving with a buddy. I think there was a tech issue there. Yeah. <laughs> no, you're in my no, no, keep sector. in your lane. Keep in your lane. Now, you notice, you notice that he's yelling about the sector. Make sure when you move, you're not moving into people's sectors. It's part of the reason I actually like to have teams do this. So, Alpha would set base of fire, Bravo would move up, kind of all to stay on the left or right. Um, and first in C, guys, you recognize this. This looks a lot like our uh, light infantry skirmish drill, doesn't it? And it's basically that. So, you've got successive and alternative, alternative bounding. What they're doing right now is alternating bounding. 
User in your channel timed out. The, the first group to move is moving a little bit past, and the next next group. User is moving. in your channel Actually, timed out. They're inchworming, which is more successive bounding. That's my yeah, bad. Yeah, they're moving up to the previous one, and then the yeah. one's going further. So a successive bound, like what they're doing, is more of an inchworm, whereas an alternate bound is more like the leap frog. If you guys are familiar. So let's go ahead and get a fire team out real quick. Uh, one one alpha, go ahead and come out here real fast. So, obviously, you guys are not going to be shooting because we got friendlies down there. But uh, go ahead and kind of array yourselves in just a line, just kind of line up off of one another. And uh, we'll do this. So, the next. On the left top. Yeah. So. So, Tom and I are going to be a buddy User team. User joined your channel. And then Wesley and Big Mike are going to be a buddy team. So we start this, we got contact front, you know, set pew pew pew, we got Hello. piece of fire. And so we'll have, uh, we'll have team one go Can you hear me? Let's go ahead and move forward about you know, 10, 15 meters. Basically, I'm up, he sees yes, me, I'm down. Game. Remember that. I'm up, he sees Everything me, I'm down. Went real silent. And you don't, it's not a leisurely pace. So sprint. that's a sprint. So we're going to do it. Oh, we're going to do it. Game. Team two's going to move up now. We're going to go ahead and alternate. We're going to uh, push past you. So team two, move. I'm up. You see, on Tom. Me? I'm down. Go with him. Team one, we're set, or team two set. And we're going to talk back and forth like that. You'll hear team one set, team two set, yep. Ralph set, set, Bravo set, one one set, one two set, on down the team line. You guys... Okay, team two moving. I'm up. He sees me. I'm down. Move along the line, guys, so you can see. Yeah. All right. Uh, team two set. Team one moving. Team one set. Team two moving. Yeah, I know. We're going to go down the, me. down the runway. That way down. we can shoot. That's why I crossed. There you go. See what I'm saying? And this way you guys yeah. are, you know, you're moving in all hey, is, different why, uh, sectors and stuff like that. This is why we do this. Yeah. User was you moved to your channel. cover or concealment in your path, Hello? Hug it, set to it, because at the end of the day, you don't yeah, want to expose yourself. Bounds, you like but if there isn't, ramp. just get low. Yeah. That's uh, literally right. just, just sees me, I'm down. Just do, uh, show, uh, six, uh, the, the other band, if not successive. Can you hear me? Yeah. Uh, yeah. The... Okay. I'll grab a team. We'll yeah, just do it. Yeah, go ahead and grab a team. Yeah, that, that would explain, because I was fucking yelling at you. <laughs> but this is alternate bounding. Alternate yeah. bounding. Yeah. Yeah, figure, figure that out. Let's team, up yeah, let's let team two move just a little ahead so you guys are yeah. leapfrogging. And go yeah, ahead. Yeah, so it should be. Uh, Alright, team one, we're moving. Down. <coughs> About 10, 10, 15. 10, 15. Right, now we it's want to make sure we are a little ahead. Doing it on the keyboard two, than move. it is in real life because <laughs> I, mean, I don't mind slamming the student to the ground. Oh my god, like myself. Yeah, dude, like myself, I don't want to slam to the ground. Set. Yeah, no. Team one moving. So, no. I would have issues. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not getting prone. <laughs> I'll take a fucking knee, but I'm not getting prone. Team one set. Pick it up. Do set. one rush range when I was in the Philippines. Moving. Because the grass was pretty tall, so I couldn't technically get in the prone. All right. I just we'll go ahead and hold it here. Into the low kneeling. Yeah. It was now, super we don't funny. have a whole lot of time, but guys, do you see how, at, first off, do you guys see how this works? Because I, yes. I figure you yeah. do. Yeah. All right. Sir. Two, do you guys do you guys see how this can scale up to oh, a God. squad or platoon it level? Works. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. So remember, you can you can always call back between Alpha and Bravo. I would like to do more of this, and maybe we'll touch on it uh, the next time we do an FTX. I think we're going to go ahead and just do another one next week as well, with a little bit more brief uh, sand table than we did this week because this one was a lot longer than I intended it to be. I'll uh, just say a couple of final points. Yeah, go ahead. So a few like kind of key things that I've always learned about this is communication is key. It doesn't have to be so rigid, but as long as you hear can hear an, a moving and a set, yeah, that's usually good enough. Secondly, you're only set when you're actually providing base of fire. So you're not set until all of your guys are in a position and shooting. If you are not set, if you're not, you know, doing that, sitting and shooting, 
then you are not set. And if you call set, you can compromise the movement of the second element, okay? So do not, as a team leader, call set to your other element until all of your guys are ready and shooting. Secondly, within those elements, you should be employing talking guns. You shouldn't be all shooting in volleys. You shouldn't all be just unloading. You should be one at a time or um, intermittently shooting between each other. So if you're a two, it's, you know, one, two, one, two, shooting, right? If you're a group of ten, a whole squad, you can kind of do it in your buddies, but as the best you can, employ your uh, talking guns. Okay? And thirdly, use as much concealment as cover as you can when you're getting set. Even if that means you have to step a little bit to your left or go a little bit further than you may have wanted to, try and stick to concealment and cover, okay? And if you follow those, you can bound pretty fucking effectively. Alright, so, so uh, go ahead and try and implement that today, guys. It's another, another big reason why I am letting squad leaders, team leaders, kind of focus on running things and sort of taking my hands off of the wheel. So you guys are really flexing those columns today. Now, uh, let's go ahead, Hunter, or where's our... Ghost disconnected. Ghost disconnected. Um, in that case, we're going to get ready to jump out of a C-130. It's going to be awesome. Let me kind of put it on the runway here. So. C-130. Yeah. 